Okay guys, this is the CG answers for 2017 at Excel. So the first question is a binomial expansion and as you see I just used the binomial method in C2 and get the answer 243 minus 135x plus 30x squared minus 10x cubed over 3 plus dot dot dot. Question 2 is a simple sign rule question. And so sine x over 16 equals to sine 50 over 13 and then you get sine inverse of 16 sine 50 over 13. As you see there are two possible solutions from the graph you can see it's either 70.5 or 180 minus 70.5 so the answers are 70.5 and 109.5. Question 3 part A as required is 5 to the 1 equals log base 2 of 2 which is 5 plus 1 which is 6. The area using trapezium rule is 17.56 and integral of 0 to 2 of 5 dx is basically 5x between 0 and 2 which is 10 minus 0 which is 10 so the area required is 10 plus 17.56 which is 27.56. us to question 4. It's the circle, so you complete the square and you get x minus 5 squared plus x plus 3 squared equals to 4. So the center is 5 minus 3, the radius is square root of 4 which is 2. So when x equals to 4, so 4 minus 5 squared is 1 plus y plus 3 squared equals to 4, so that gives you y plus 3 squared equals to 3. So y plus 3 is plus or minus root 3, so y equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 3. So that gives us y equals to minus 3 plus root 3, or y equals to minus 3 minus root 3. Okay, and question 5. Uh, so the radius is 3.5, theta is 1.77. So arc length is r theta, which is 3.5 times 1.77, which is 6.195 is 6.202, to two decimal places. Area of sector is half r squared theta, which is half times 3.5 squared times 1.77, which is 10.84 centimeters squared. The angle AFB is pi minus 1.77 over 2, which is 0.686. And then area of triangle is half times 3.7 times 3.5 times sine 0 0.686, which is 4.1. So the total area is 2 lots of 4.1 plus 10.84, which is 19.04. So that leads us to question 6. Six is a um, factorizing question, so fx equals that minus 6x cubed minus 7x squared plus 40x plus 3. So f of minus 3, uh, when you substitute minus 3, you get 0. So therefore, x plus 3 is a factor. You divide and you divide perfectly, and then you get x plus 3 times minus x is 6x squared plus 11x plus 2, and you factorize that. And you get the cube brackets like this, x plus 3, 3x minus 7, minus 2x minus 1. But what you can do is you can take the minus, you can take the minus out of this bracket here, minus out of this bracket here, and times this bracket by that minus, so it becomes 7 minus 3, and this becomes positive. But even this is fine, but this is obviously better. And quite clearly, when x equals to 2y, so you get 2 to the y equals minus 3, 2 to the y equals 7 over 3, or 2 to the y equals minus half. So both minus value values are invalid. So 2 to the y has to be 7 over 3. So y log 2 equals log 7 over 3, so which is y equals log 7 over 3 over log 2, which is 1.22. That leads us to question 7, the trigonometry question. Uh, so cos squared x equals 8 sine squared x minus 6 sine x, x between 0 and 360. So that leads you to this quadratic 9 sine squared x minus 6 sine x minus 1, which is a perfect square, which is 3 sine x minus 1 over squared. Uh, 
and so when that equal to zero I just let y equals to sine x and then get y equals to 1 plus or minus root 2 over 3 so basically sine x equals to 1 plus root 2 over 3 or 1 minus root 2 over 3 so that leads us to x equals sine inverse of 1 plus root 2 over 3 or sine inverse of 1 minus root 2 over 3 so you can clearly see there are four intersections or four solutions in the graph and then the answers are 53.58, 180 minus 53.58, or 180 plus 7.94, or 360-7.942. So the answers are 53.58, 126.42, 187.94, 352.06. So that leads us to question 8. Question 8 is a sequence question, so here we go. So second term of the first term equals to third term of the second term. The lead seems to be quadratic, which is 11k squared minus 130k plus 99 equals to 0. We solve the quadratic, we get k equals to 11 and k equals to 9 over 11. So obviously, it can't be an integer, so k is equal to 9 over 11. And then we've got the common ratio equals to minus 4. All I did is I plugged in the value of k to one of these expressions at the very top. Okay, so once uh, common ratio is minus 4, third term is 128 over 11. So the fourth term will be 128 over 11 times minus 4, which is minus 512 over 11. And for the uh, sum of the first 10 terms, so the first term is 8 over 11 when you plug into the formula. Common ratio is minus 4, n is 10, so I'm using the formula Sn equals 1 minus Rn uh, or 1 minus R. There has to be an A here. So A bracket 1 minus Rn or 1 minus R. So when I plug in the values, when I plug in the values, I get the answer minus 152,520. So then that leads us to question 9. This is a log question log x plus a squared equals to log 16a6 so what I did is I wrote x plus a squared equals to 16a6 did like a difference of squares method guys but either way is fine so I get x equals to 4a cubed minus a which is a bracket 4a squared minus 1 if I factorize it again it's a bracket 2a plus 1 2a minus 1 and then this one log base 3 9a plus b minus log base 3 2y minus b equals to 2 combine the log by division law log base 3 9y plus b over 2y minus b equals to 2 and then you get this equation and then you end up getting 10b over 9 equals to y okay so that leads us to the final question which is a tricky question So y is equal to 4x cubed plus 9x squared minus 30x minus 8. dy dx is 12x squared plus 18x minus 30. So when dy dx is equal to 0, we get this quadratic. When you solve it, you get x equal to minus 5 over 2 or x equal to 1. So x equal to minus 5 over 2 is not in the domain, so we carry on with x equal to 1. So when x equal to 1, y is equal to minus 25. So the minimum point is 1 minus 25. Okay. I have a sketch of the graph here. Um, you can see. So the area A, so you can see I've divided the area into two sections. A, which is the area under the curve here, and B is a triangle. So area A is integral from minus quarter to one of the equation. And when you work that out, you get minus five one two five two five six. So area is obviously 5, 1, 2, 5, 2, 5, 6, the positive value. And the area of the triangle is 1 times, half times the base times height, which is half times 2 minus 1, the base, times 25, which is 25 over 2. So the shaded region is the sum of the two areas, which is 32.52 units squared. Okay, guys, that's the solutions for C2.